นี่ชื่อเพนศรีนะอายุนี่ก็73แล้วหาอยู่แถวนี้แหละที่40ปีแล้ว Decades ago, p e n s r i was suffering. Bangkok's air was a powerful cocktail of sulfur, carbon monoxide, and lead. Breathing in fumes by the side of the road made her sick, but selling food to truckers was the only way she could make a living. A half a world away, a similar story. Soy Francisca. Trabajo en el Hospital Carlos Mackenna hace tres años. Soy técnico para médico. When Francesca Yanis was a little girl, a study showed that almost half of all children in Santiago under the age of five suffered from respiratory illnesses. Bueno, yo tenía asma. Me duró el asma como cinco años, seis años, en los cuales mi mamá y mi familia tenía que llevarme corriendo a urgencia. A landmark World Bank study at the time showed the cost of health care for pollution-related illnesses in Santiago was greater than the cost of cleaning up the city. Pollution. It makes bad economic sense and it kills. Poor people suffer the most because they're forced by poverty to live in dirty areas and because they have less access to medical care. But now both Bangkok and Santiago are well on the road to recovery. In Bangkok, new mass transit to get cars off the road. Legislation to make biofuels cheaper. Restrictions on open fires. And the conversion to cleaner four-stroke engines for the city's ubiquitous motorbikes like this one. I'm Nathong Poon Nawiman, age 50. ขับวินมอเตอร์ไซค์รับจ้างแล้วก็รับส่งเอกสารมาประมาณ20กว่าปีแล้ว Like many motorbike owners in Bangkok, Tung Poon is now producing less pollution and feeling the benefits. มันลดลงเยอะกว่าใช้สองจังหวะแล้วก็รู้สึกว่าดูบนท้องถนนนี้เราก็หายใจว่าดีกว่าสมัยก่อนนะว่ามลพิษมันก็ดีกว่าเป็นพวกนั้นที่เปลี่ยนมาใช้รถรุ่นใหม่ Santiago has adopted similar measures. A wide network of clean urban transport, carbon-soaking greenery in the city centre, a hydropower plant to reduce fossil fuels, emissions controls on cars and factories, and programs to promote bicycles for residents like this one. Yo soy Catalina Muñoz. Tengo 26 años. An aspiring actress, Catalina takes her bike everywhere to visit friends and to casting calls. Like many young people in Santiago, she's grown up knowing the value of clean transport. Porque la bicicleta, en definitiva, trae un montón de beneficios. También porque es mucho más ecológico. Aportas a la descontaminación del aire, a la descongestión vehicular también. Although both cities still struggle with pollution and congestion, they have become role models, cities that are reaping the benefits of investing in a cleaner environment, improving not only their economies, but the health for all residents. For a nurse in Santiago who remembers suffering with asthma as a youngster. I feel that every year the number of children who come to urgency with respiratory and for a roadside vendor in Bangkok who once risked her health to earn a living.